we conducted a phase three uh, global randomized placebo-controlled study of pembrolizumab in combination with pemetrexid and platinum as compared to pemetrexid and platinum alone in patients with metastatic non-squamous cell, non-small cell lung cancer who don't have oncogenic drivers such as EGFR and ALK alterations for which there are specific targeted therapies, but is the majority of the non-small cell lung cancer population. And um, the study demonstrated a clear improvement in response rate, progression-free survival, and overall survival in the whole population as well as in all subgroups. Um, there was no difference in overall survival benefit really um, from in, in any subgroup. Although PDL1 high expressing patients, so those with greater than or equal to 50% expression had the greatest levels of benefit, um, even those who had less than 1% expression had a survival benefit. Uh, so the study was a large phase three randomized placebo control study conducted in 16 countries at 126 different sites. Uh, patients were randomized two to one to receive either pembrolizumab in combination with platinum and pemetrexid or platinum and pemetrexid alone uh, with placebo. And uh, following the platinum doublet therapy of four cycles, patients went on to receive pemetrexid maintenance therapy either with placebo or with pembrolizumab. Patients in the control arm could cross over to pembrolizumab monotherapy if they had confirmed progression on blinded independent review. Overall, the adverse effects were really not different than what we might see with either chemotherapy alone or pembrolizumab alone. The incidence overall of chemotherapy side effects was really not changed, and the incidence of uh, immune-mediated side effects was also not really different, with the possible exception of renal events. There was a slightly increased level of nephritis um, in the study in the combination arm, 1.7% compared to 0.4% with monotherapy, and overall there were more renal events with more acute kidney injury in the combination arm compared to the control arm, although the number of serious adverse events was still low at 2%. I don't think that we uh, necessarily need to see anything else before using it in clinical practice. In fact, this is already an approved regimen in the US and a few other countries on the basis of a phase two trial that predated this study. Um, most centers are doing standardized PD-L1 testing anyway to select patients for PD-1 monotherapy and uh, I think this could be implemented right away actually, um, you know, pending regulatory approvals in other countries. I mean, the only thing else to add, I think, is that this study was presented in the context of other studies that were presented as well, which demonstrated benefits to other combinations, including other chemotherapy combinations and other immunotherapy combinations. So I think the challenge for us going forward is how to individualize patient care to select the right treatment for all patients. But I think the one thing that's clearly changed is that the backbone of that care for all patients is immunotherapy instead of chemotherapy. Mm -hmm.